It is my immense pleasure to meet with a renowned, multifaceted artist today, Shriram Kodbole. Director, writer and actor, he has been associated with the Grips Theatre for numerous years, having penned many scripts for over 35 dramas and 80 movies. He is the man, the lyricist, the writer behind hit movies like Pak Pak Pakak, Chashme Baddur, Astitva and Jis Desh Me Ganga Rehta Hai. He has written, directed and produced TV serials like Pimpar Paan, Ghadlai Bighadlai, Nakshatran Se Dene and Prarabdha. He is also associated with widely acclaimed dramas like Eka Lagna Chi Goshta, Nakore Baba and Pan Amhala Khedai Se. Hello friends. I hope you are watching this video along with your parents because a lot of things which I am going to discuss uh, will involve both you as well as your parents. Many times I am asked a question whether a young boy or a young girl should start theatre at a very early age. What is the right age for anyone to start participating in theatre? What I would suggest is you should start participating the moment you feel like participating. When your inner voice tells you that I want to go and perform on the stage, you should go and perform on the stage. There, the age is no bar. You shouldn't be guided by anyone that you should go on and do a piece of theatre that is not required. If you ask me, my experience, I participated in theatre at the age of six when I was a very young boy. Later on, it is not necessary that you participate only in theatre. You should take part in elocution competition, recitations, storytelling. Whenever and wherever you get an opportunity to face audience, you should not miss that opportunity. It could be your classroom. Many times in your classroom, your school teacher asks you, is there anyone in the class who can perform something for the class, for example, on an off period. You should grab the opportunity and face your peers. Your peers are your best audience. Your family are your best audience. Because they are going to tell you whether they like something or whether they dislike something, whether you are good at something, whether you are bad at something. So start performing from right now. Don't wait for an opportunity to come. Grab every opportunity to perform. So I would say that you can start doing theatre. Perhaps the worst thing that could happen in any young boy or girl's life is hogging limelight or publicity. Publicity is one of the worst deterrents in the progress of uh, any person's career because unnecessarily you feel like you have reached somewhere, you have achieved something. People are talking about you, people are looking at you when you are in the out. People are thinking about you all the time, that is not the case. Publicity is the most transient, the most uh, a thing which is in a flux all the time. The worst thing that could happen to anyone's career is getting publicity at the wrong time. Many times it so happens that you do something and you get a write-up in the newspaper, you get a photograph in the newspaper or a television channel comes to your house and takes your bite. Suddenly you feel like you are on cloud nine. Suddenly you feel like you are Amitabh Bachchan. Everyone is talking about you. When you go out, you feel that people are looking at you. Everyone is discussing about you. Mind you, that is not the case. It's a very transient kind of a thing. It's a very momentary kind of a thing if you get publicity. I would rather tell and advise the parents of all the young kids that they should avoid publicity of all sorts. Because that creates some unnecessary, imaginary and many times very flashy images of your own, in your own eyes. Publicity is good, but it should be taken with a pinch of salt all the time. And one golden rule is, never go after media to get publicity. If you are doing something good, somebody will take notice of it. It will be let known to the world. But by yourself, you should not go and chase publicity. That's the worst deterrent 
in anyone's life because if you go on working selflessly without expecting publicity and then if it comes your way that is the best way to achieve it publicity is not a poison but it is not a medicine either so believe in your work and not in your publicity friends many times it is presumed that the children's world is full of demons it is full of fairies it is full of magicians if you see the stories if you see the uh, films for children a lot of plays for the children it is full of all those things but tell me is really life is about demons is life is about magicians no life is about school exams life is about dentist life is about a doctor is going to give you an injection and the fears which you are going to face most of the times in your life are the question papers for the exam and not the demons and you're going to meet most of the time your teacher and not the jinn so i would like you to see a clip of a theater piece which is called grips theater but before you see that i would like to share with you what is grips theater grips theater is the children's theater which is performed by adults i hope you understand what i mean the roles of children are played by adults yes and believe me that the children are so imaginative that they do not have any problem whatsoever in accepting the adults as children as far as they speak their language as far as they share they empathize with the children grips theater was started in 1961 by a person his name is Volker Ludwig in Germany he was a part of the students movement in France and later on he and his colleagues started this children's theater to propagate right values amongst children at the right age the plays are about the problems which you children face from the point of view of you children so it is the children's theater for the children by the adults so let's have a look a very small glimpse at a grips play who could be your best guru don't go out and search for him lies within yourself you are your best guru self learning is the key as far as acting is concerned many times it is a question very frequently asked from whom did you learn the art of acting from whom did you learn the art of writing of performing let me share with you my own experience you are your own guru there is a lot of self learning that is required when it comes to acting or when it comes to writing any kind of performance of course when you are learning music when you are learning dance you must have a guru and you must follow similarly you could have a guru in theater you could attend a summer workshop for 3 months but let me tell you that is not enough the whole world is theater that's what grotowski said everyone is performing at all the time even you are performing as a student you are performing as you as a son your mother is performing as the mother it is not falsehood but it is entering into a role role playing and if you look around you will find that everyone is doing role playing of one sort or the other don't misunderstand me when i say role playing people are involved there is a lot of conviction when you do something but how does a person behave in a particular situation is something you should keep on watching if you are out on the street if you see a beggar have you seen a beggar who is standing upright with chest full of uh, breath and asking for money like give me 1 rupee no he will never get a rupee instead you will find him dropping his shoulders looking very meek trying to be belittled all the time not overshadowing you always presenting himself as a very poor pathetic person if he performs well he is going to get a rupee if he performs better he is going to get 5 rupees and if he performs still better he is going to get a vote from you and he is going to be elected 
So you'll find different types of beggars in society. What you need to do is look out for them, find out how they behave, and try to understand that. Don't imitate. Don't imitate Amitabh Bachchan. Don't imitate Amir Khan. Don't go on saying the monologues in a particular film. Don't do any uh, theatre piece by heart and perform it all the time. Observe, watch, understand the body language, and try to feel like that internally, not externally. When you watch television, watch performances of people. Don't get involved. Don't cry or laugh. Be watchful. Keep yourself away from yourself, and see people's performance, and try to analyze what they have done, what they have uh, studied, how their character is coming out. You will find that a lot of people, by inspiration, have taken a lot of stylistic approaches when they do theatre. or even in public when they perform try to understand their body language that is the most important thing friends every now and then you will come across stories success stories about people of young boys and girls running away from their homes dropping out of the schools and becoming successful without going to the school at all and then you must have said to yourself what am i doing am i spending a lot of time at school unnecessarily i want to become a singer i want to become a dancer i want to become an actor and what am i doing in a school am i wasting some precious time of my life no let me share my experience with you i am an engineer myself and i have later on opted to become an artist did my knowledge of engineering help in my career as an artist yes it did it taught me about design it taught me about discipline it taught me about time management it taught me about so many other aspects which you will not find immediately or apparently in a in a career but if you look at the kind of core that is required to perform anything if you look at the mindset which is required for anyone to perform if you look at the confidence you get the cross platform knowledge which you get then you will find that education is utmost important if you want to do any kind of career for example if you are an actor the knowledge of history is going to help you a lot because you learn so much from history the knowledge of languages is going to help you a lot mathematics you will feel that mathematics is not going to help me as an actor but no it is going to help you as an actor at one point in your career it may not be directly applied to what you are doing but it is very essential for a lot of things which are happening in the background the most important thing is your core has to be developed it has to be rich it has to be full of knowledge it has to be an educated core and only then could you give a performance which is qualitatively good which is liked by the people which makes a contact with the people so if you want to learn dancing you must learn geography if you want to act on stage you must learn mathematics education is a very holistic kind of a thing it develops your brain it develops your wisdom and all that brain all that wisdom is going to help you when you are going to perform any art in your life so never sideline education never give a secondary thought to the education as students you must have education as your primary goal in your cognitive years in the years of your learning and even parents should enthuse their child to go for good education all the time never sideline it never give it undue importance either what i mean is you must have an equal balance of sports education extracurricular activities you must give a very balanced mix to your child none of these components should be over exercised or over administered so don't neglect your studies be good in studies try to perform the best in your studies 
and if you are good at studies it is going to help you in your future career whatever career you may offer you may ask me a question how will arithmetics help me in acting or you may ask me a question how will geography help me in gymnastics or history help me in histrionics yes it may not be directly applied all these sciences may not be directly applied to your performances on stage but they help you build up your core your knowledge your wisdom and believe me all that knowledge all that wisdom all the development of the core finally reflects in any kind of performance that you are going to deliver what education does to you is a very holistic kind of a phenomenon it develops you as an individual it develops you as a thinker so never sideline education never give it a secondary thought i would advise even the parents that they should never force their children to put more emphasis on any one of the things education extracurricular activities sports all have to have a very good mix in the life of anyone you your child must be a friend philosopher athlete to become a good performer so my advice to you all is be good in your studies perform well in your examinations have good marks on the education front you should perform well and on the artistic front you should learn more and more and try and balance the entire thing